Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, we're gonna check out another high-powered Springer, the Game Face brand's Havoc Prime. Let's get going. A few years ago, we were introduced to the CETA platform. That was followed up later with the CETA S, which is the short dart variant that fires a little bit higher FPS. And now we've been given a new variant from Game Face Brands, which features retooled design and a few ergonomic changes. This has really been the year of Springers. We are getting more and more releases, and I just like having more options. I think more options are always better for the consumer, and it is a good opportunity to see other versions on the market. The Havoc Prime is a short dart springer. It shoots about 130 FPS average, and overall it's got some nice improvements over the Cita S and some of the older Cetas. It features a new front muzzle design, a ZRO barrel, and an angled foregrip, which happens to be one of the more comfortable angled foregrips that I've used before. The back half of the blaster is very similar to the Cita S. However, they've redesigned the stock and it has a, a different style overall. Now, the stock, of course, is removable, so you can take this off and throw on your favorite uh, buffer tube stock. It's compatible with both uh, mil spec and with Magpul spec stocks. The blaster overall is very similar to the Cita S. It's almost like another Cita S, but made by a different company. Uh, Crossman is very much in the uh, hobby and hunting markets for archery and other things like that. So they have a pretty big legacy in the hobby market. That said, they did work with Jet to produce this product, so it is a licensed and designed partnership with Jet Blasters. Overall, the Havoc Prime is very similar to the Cita S. I think it's got some nice characteristics as far as the visual appeal, and the foregrip is so much better than the standard Cita S one. If you remember from my Cita S video, it always felt like this grip was almost backwards because it needs some sort of angled catch to catch the back of your palm. At it, going with an angled foregrip, there's plenty of power, it's very comfortable, it's very well designed, and it feels very good on the hands. It's also very easy to swap out if you wanted to design one yourself because underneath here we have got a Picatinny rail. And I think that's a very nice addition. The blaster takes these quick dart magazines, which may look very familiar because they are nearly identical to the CETA S and CETA magazines. Overall, they've got pros and cons versus Talon mags and other, other competition. The main one being that they are not as sturdy as say a Talon mag, but you can access the follower externally, which can be really nice if you do experience a jam or get a bad dart in there or any other issue. Due, due to the current situation, I obviously have not got a chance to play test this as heavily, but I am confident that it will perform just as well as the C to S variant does because the internals are very similar and the testing over the chronograph is the same as well. So this blaster, just like the Cita, has a really nice quick takedown. You essentially pull out two screws on either side. And after you've removed those, you can remove these two pins and the whole front assembly will come off. Now, one nice improvement that Game Face Brands has made here versus the Cita is that this whole assembly does not just simply fall apart. It's locked together, and so it makes it a little easier to actually take these two halves apart and reassemble them. So I do think that's a very good improvement. Then this is how you get access to your spring and your plunger tube itself, along with the bolt sled um, on the blaster. It makes for a nice quick teardown. It's pretty easy to access that spring and pretty easy to put it back together. I do think there are some big advantages going with this quick assembly method because it allows you to swap out parts really easily and maintain the blaster when you need to. That said, 
When I'm playing with these on the field, it's very rare that I actually have to take this apart. I'm really only taking it apart to lubricate the O-rings and to swap out springs when necessary. That being said, we're also going to have springs for both the Havoc Prime and for the C to S very soon. You'll see those on the shop, and when they are on the shop, I'll throw them in the description as well. Another great thing about this blaster is that it is going to be on shelves along with online and on shops like my own. Uh, the blaster being on shelves is a big deal. I think it's really nice that someone could be at a sporting goods store, find this blaster, and then potentially find our hobby and join our amazing group of people here online. I can't wait to get out and play again. I'm looking forward to putting all of these new blasters through their paces when we finally get to have a uh, perhaps social distancing battle. But right now in Washington State, that's uh, not really in the cards as far as the state regulations. I wanted to thank Game Face Brands for sending this blaster over. They did give me this free of charge, so do keep that in mind as far as my review. As always, my opinions are my own. Thank you so much for watching. I am really happy to have so many options in 2020 for blasters. Hopefully we can get back to those battles real soon. Let me know what you think of this blaster and others in the comments. Until next time, I'm out of darts. A few years back, we were introduced to the CETA platform. Blat? Blatform?